What's up everybody? It's Kelsey Brianna J and in today's video I wanted to do a get ready with me using some new products that I have and I know that you all love these type of videos because I'm able to use a lot of things in one video and that way you guys can get the tea on all of the new launches. So I'm excited to share this look with you all because it's popping. You all know I love saying something is popping. I love it. That's like one of my favorite phrases that's popping. So Sydney Grace who comes with that fire every time they have a launch. They sent me their new bundle. This one is called the Danny's Dream Bundle. It's not all of these colors up here. It's just the green ones down here. But uh, you all already know I could not wait to tear into these eyeshadows to do this look that you see on my eyes. I love that these eyeshadows are different variations of green as well as I love that they're different finishes so you can do an entire eye look with just this bundle as you guys will see me do in this video. So next I'm revisiting a new product. You guys saw in my video where I reviewed the Huda Beauty Tan Tour that I wasn't that impressed with it and so many of the comments were like, do this, do that, do this. And I'm like, okay, I will give it a next Another chance for you all so I went and picked up a new color I got a lighter color because if you all saw my review on that I originally had the color medium that color is much too dark you guys can go watch that video you can watch my struggle with it and I got a new color this one is light and you guys will see what I think about this new color in the demonstration but same products different color wait on it I have two Milk Makeup Lash products. I have the Kush Lash Primer as well as the Kush Mascara that I'll be testing for you all. And yes, these eye products have cannabis in them. And I'm hyped because I finally got my hands on this Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo in the color Soft Peach. And I love these blush duos. And I was apprehensive about buying this one at first because I thought it was going to be too light. But honey, I have it on now. <laughs> and let's just say she's working it. And lastly, I have a new foundation. This is the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. And a lot of you all are interested in this foundation. So I went to Kohl's. They did not have it out. I asked them to go get it from the back. The girl was so nice. She dug it out for me. And I'm like, thank you so much. You are so sweet. I was really testing myself to see how good I was at color matching. Just sight alone, can I pick my color? And I think I did it. So <laughs> I have the color TG6. And this was my closest match out of all of the colors that they had in the store. They do have a color called TG5 online. I think that one may be closer. But they didn't have that color in Ulta or Kohl's. So there may be something that I have to order if I'm interested. Since summer's here, I think I'm going to stick with this one. Because I am going to get just a little bit more tan. Just a little tan. Ooh, child. This is a lot of information. The description says, and I'm going to summarize because, honey, it's a scroll trying to read all of that. I'm not going to be able to do it. So the first sentence says, it's time to love your skin, your selfie, and the way you look from every angle with 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie. And that sounds like, hmm, love your selfie, but for real, like you do want to love your selfie. We have to accept that selfies are important. They are. It says that this is an all-in-one skincare infused longwear foundation and concealer. It instantly masks and blurs the look of imperfections as it helps to enhance your natural beauty. Some of the ingredients that it has in there are serotonin complex and antioxidant rich energy complex that's made from a signature blend of green tea, ginseng, and vitamin B. But I want to go ahead and jump into it and play. That way you all can see all of these products in action. Let me know what products you've picked up recently. What are you playing with? what's in your weekly rotation let me know down in the comments section and if there's anything new that you want me to try that I have not already tried because mama has been buying it all let me know down in the comments section as well so I'll talk to you guys shortly enjoy let's start off with eyes first so I'm gonna take Calmeria with a Wayne Goss number 18 fluffy brush and this is going to be my transition color load that color up on the brush and then let's go back and forth above the crease as a transition that color is extremely pigmented and it doesn't take much for it to be opaque same brush and I'm going to take the color Honeydew and the first color is our transition color. So this color is going to be in our crease and this is going to give us more definition. Oh my gosh, these colors are so pigmented, it's crazy. You legit need the smallest amount. Now I'm going to dip into the color Kiwi Fruit, same brush again and right on the very outer crease I'm going to add a little bit of this color. And this is going to help us add a little bit of definition. So just back and forth. 
right in there. And don't take this color all the way across. Just keep it pretty tight on the outer crease because you want it to add definition but not smoke it out. Now let's dip into Key Lime and I'm going to take a more tapered brush. This one is the Sonya G Crease Pro brush. Be careful with this color because it's very pigmented. I am going to take this right on the very outer crease and blend it over. So pack it on and then with the tip of this brush start to really diffuse that into the crease. That looks good. I'm not going to take it all the way in. And like I said, this is a very pigmented color so you don't need a lot of it. So now let's dip into Sweet Stop. Look at the reflect on that one. And I have the Sonya G Builder 3 brush. I have to have this on my lid. Point blank period. I love this color. So I'm just going to pack this all across my lid. Make sure to blend it with that outer corner color. Make sure to blend it up towards the crease. I am going to leave my inner tear ducts open because I do want to have that highlight there. This color will be packed on and it will be shown. That's a fact. Then I'm going to go back with a little bit of that outer corner color just to make sure that those lines are blended nicely. But that's what we should be looking like. I mean, bam! Do you all see that? That is off of the eyeshadow solely. No additional adhesives, no sprays. It's just giving you that intensity straight out of the gate. Like, I am here for this. Gorgeous look. I love the reflex of it. I love the color. And the pigmentation is just insane. So I need that inner tear ducts highlight. I just need it. So let's take this color and pack it on that inner corner and brighten her up. <gasps> so pretty. That looks so pretty. Okay, I think the look needs a little wing. So I'm going to go in with my Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen. It's been a minute since I've used this, so... I'm going to do my little liner. I need to get up close and personal and do the liner. So I'll be right back when it's done. I have two Milk Makeup Lash products. This is the Kush Lash Primer. This is the Kush Mascara. I've tried the Kush Mascara before and I know I really like it. But I've not tried the primer. So on one side, I'm going to do the primer and see if it makes a difference. And on the other side, I'm going to just do the mascara. The primer says that it gives extra high volume. Boom! period. It says that it's naturally lit with hemp derived cannabis oil that conditions for healthier looking lashes. Puff puff prime. Okay milk. One, two, three. Like these are heavy. <laughs> I'm gonna do the primer on my right eye. I mean real talk. I already see that it's making my lashes more voluminous. Dang. That's already giving me some volume. Now I feel like my other eye is not going to match that same energy. So now I feel like I'm about to be upset because I see the volume coming through. I'm going to let that get a little, little dry. And I'm going to go ahead and do my mascara over here. Like at least one little coat of it. I already see a difference. I'm not even kidding you all. I'm going to have to put on lashes because of the big difference. I did one little coat. I'm going to come back to it. Because I don't want this to dry too much. Oh my goodness. The side with the primer looks much better. It just does. No primer, primer. Can you all see the difference in the thickness of the lashes? Yeah. Let me do another coat of mascara and I'll be right back and show you all what it looks like after it's done. But the primer does give you a little bit more volume and it's giving me a little bit more thickness. Now my lashes look cute or whatever. I need a little bit more since my eye look is so dramatic. It's gonna fill in the gaps. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and glue those on there. So now that I have my lashes on, I feel like a diva. I'm a, a diva, hey. All right, let me take off my earrings. Let's do our foundation. So when I did my brows, I used a little bit of concealer everywhere. So I have concealer on my forehead and a little bit on the perimeter of my face, but not a lot. I use the Tarte Shape Tape just a little bit because as you all know, this concealer can be a lot. I also use this as my eyeshadow base. So let's take some of this foundation. And the thing that I like about this foundation is that it has a pump. It actually has a doe foot applicator as well. So I thought that, that was really cool of not seeing anything like that you know it's either the doe foot or it's the pump you're not getting both but pure is giving us both i like that so i'm gonna go in with two squirts of this i have my lc sponge here and i'm going to apply this foundation using the sponge so i like to start around my cheek area just because this is the area where i typically have a breakout if i have one and i like to have a little bit more coverage here like a little bit here so I still have some left. Two pumps is more than enough. 
because this foundation is medium full coverage this is blending out really nicely so i'm not having to take a lot of products it's melting into the skin it's looking like a second skin on me i really like the consistency of this foundation it's really creamy but at the same time it doesn't move around too easily to where it's sliding off of your face or anything like that i just feel like i need a little bit more right here and i'm gonna be good i don't need any more i use the entirety of the two pumps so so here's what the foundation looks like with no other products on top. I think that it looks really nice. I like the finish of it. It's not too matte. It's not too shiny. It's a more satiny matte finish. And it doesn't feel drying. It feels lightweight. And I like the color match. I feel like it's giving me a nice skin-like appearance. I think it looks good. It looks smooth. It's very velvety. I like that. So I'm going to dip into this Huda Tan Tour. I want to put it on before I do my concealer. That way if I need to go and clean it up, I can do that afterwards. And I'm going to Gonna take this lighter color and see if it makes a difference in how I like the product. This is a Royal and Langnickel BOM01 brush. This is a synthetic haired angled brush. I'm just gonna dip straight in here. I'm gonna be mad if this messes up my foundation because I really like my foundation today. I'm layering this one on. This one looks a lot better because the color is not as stark on my complexion. The other color is much too red, much too deep. And I think this color looks a lot more skin-like. Whereas with the other one, I had to be super careful and not apply too much because it was just too rich. I think the color is really gonna make a difference here. This one has applied a lot smoother and it doesn't look as patchy. I almost think this one is too light. I need one in the middle. So like, light plus? medium minus it's giving something it's just very natural so if you want to do a very natural look where your skin looks glowy and it's not really looking too makeup-y then i think this will be decent if you're my complexion and you want to try this product so i'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer and set my face i don't have any new concealers or any new setting powders so i'll go ahead and do that so my face is set so now i need to finish off my eyes back with tangy citrus my inner tear duct color and put it on the lower inner corner and on the rest of the lower lash line I'm gonna go in with honeydew I have to be very careful with this but essentially I'm just going to take it from here to here that's it and on my lower lashes I'm going to try some of this primer as well and some of the mascara and then let's go in with some of the mascara the look is beautiful so far but I need some more things going on with my cheeks I was finally able to get my hands on the cover FX blush duo in the color soft peach and you all know I did not pick that up at first because I was unsure if it was going to show up on me because it looked light online but once I discovered that all of those blushes were super dark I was like I have to have this one because this color is right up my alley and yes it's gonna look good with the green it's gonna make our cheeks pop I'm gonna take my Refer 04 angled brush and I'm gonna take the highlight first. I love these things. I'm gonna pop that right on the high planes of my cheeks. If you're ever scared of wearing green and coral, don't be. It's a cute color combination. It's unexpected, but it works. And then I'm gonna go in with the matte side. I may go back in with the glow side. Yeah, this is really pretty. And put it on the balls of my cheeks too. If you are my complexion, you need soft peach. I'm gonna go back with the highlighter side, yeah. I want that glow on my cheeks. I could not find any super new lip products, so I'm gonna use some Pat McGrath stuff, and this lip liner is new to me. This one is super natural. So I got this during the VIB sale, and I was like, it's kinda light but I kind of love it now because it's the perfect liner if I want to wear lighter lip glosses or lighter lips and not change the color too much. This is a Pat McGrath gloss in the color Gold Allure. Hops on that. That's pretty. Now I'm gonna go in with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Mist just because I wanna be glowy. So here's the finished look and I feel good about it. I feel like everything looks very smooth. I love my eyes. I love my foundation, the cheeks, the lips. Every element of my look right now is giving me something I can feel. And it's letting me know that my love is real. So I'm gonna do a wear test. Right now it is three o'clock. I'm going to wear these products until nine o'clock. So I will do check-ins and let you guys see the updates. But for now, this is what we're working with. I'm about to go outside and it's hot. Summer's here. So we're gonna see, all right? 
I am back for my check-in. It has definitely been four hours since I first sat down and told you all I was going to do my check-in. But I started having really, really low energy. And when I feel like that, I know my blood sugar is dropping too low. So I had to go get something to eat and feel a little bit better. I couldn't even drive. Like, that's how low energy I felt. Sometimes I get so into filming and so in the work zone that I don't eat on time. And so I'm going to stop doing that, but I did not check in at the two hour mark because of that. So I apologize, but I'm back. I feel better. I got some energy. I got some food in my system. And let's talk about how everything is looking. So foundation, I'm thinking it looks absolutely gorgeous. It is the epitome of an everyday glam. And I think it's holding up well with me being outside, with it being super humid, very hot outside. And then the restaurant that I went to, it really wasn't that cool in there either. So as a result of that, I've been in muggy situations today and I still feel like my foundation looks really good the cheek products are just beaming I'm loving my eyes still I overall think I'm having a really good makeup day I'm about to go do some more work but this time I'm gonna be on the computer so it may not be that big of a difference between now and the time when I come back to show you guys the update but of course I will be doing that because I already told you all I would but I will check you all in a few more hours Alright guys, so I am back to do my final check in and it has been so many hours, it's not even funny. It's been seven hours since the initial check in and then I believe that was my four hours, so seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I did an eleven hour wear test today which far exceeds my six hour that I thought I was going to do originally. So I am beyond ready to give you guys my final thoughts on these products. I've been sitting there standing at the computer. I'm doing work. If you guys don't know, I'm in school to get my doctorate degree and oh my gosh. Sometimes I just want to bang my head against the table. But let's just go ahead and talk about everything. I had to put on my glasses just because I didn't want to strain my eyes. So I hope that that's not a distraction. Let's start off with the Cover FX blush. I really like this blush formula. I feel like Cover FX really has a banker on their hands. Love this color. Stay put beautiful nice peachy color it gave me a great glow i really feel like it brightened up my complexion love that sydney grace eyeshadows if i had an award to hand to them i would because their eyeshadow formula is phenomenal and i don't know how they do it but keep it so affordable they are geniuses i love sydney grace eyeshadows i feel like they are some of the best eyeshadows on the market and the colors are different it's going to allow you to have a little bit more of a unique eye look because it's not your run-of-the-mill colors that you see every day so the milk mascara primer and the milk mascara i like it i really like the kush mascara i went through an entire tube of it before and the kush primer you guys saw it added another level to that mascara huda beauty tan tour again i just am not a big fan of this product so the color light was a better match but still has this stickier texture that kind of slides around it'll move products even though the foundation that i used today is not as thin in consistency as the one i used in my initial review i still just am not in love with this product the light one was definitely easier to work with because i was able to use a little bit more and have a little bit more control over it versus the darker one which i put a little bit on my face and it looked like somebody punched me so i'm happier with the color and i'm happier with the way that it looks but i still don't really care for the formulation of it. I think it's just okay. And the Pure Foundation. I really like this foundation. I feel like this foundation wore exceptionally well today. Today has been a very long day for me. And it wore well the other times that I tried it. I feel like I have oils all on my face. Not even just in my T-zone. Everywhere. But I don't feel like my skin looks dirty and nasty. Like I want to go wash it off. To me it just has a nice glow to it. And I like how it looks at the end of the day. And like I said this is an everyday glam foundation for me. It's for days when I want to do full cover but I don't want to look overly made up. Sometimes how my hourglass liquid foundation does. It's beautiful, but it gives me extremely full coverage. It looks extremely made up. Versus this one, it's going to give you that medium coverage that you're able to build up to full coverage, but it looks more everyday like. I feel like my skin can breathe in it. So, so I really like it. I like my color and I feel comfortable going out of the house if I had to right now, even though I'm about to go I'm about to go straight to sleep, but if I had to go somewhere, I wouldn't be mad at this foundation. I think this is the sleepiest I have ever been on my YouTube channel trying to do an outro. If I could go to sleep right here, right now, I think I would do it. But 
I, I don't I, I can't say anything else. Good night. I will talk to you all later. If you have any questions, ask me down in the comment section. I will check you all in my next video. Smooches. Goodbye. See you all later. Nighty night. Let's say my prayers. Bye.